If you caught our Samsung Galaxy Note 8 hands-on, you'll know it's the first Samsung phone with dual cameras. And there are a few other firsts in there as well. It's the first dual camera phone that has optical image stabilization on both cameras. I'm gonna talk about everything that this camera can do, or at least I tried out in my short time with it at the launch event in a sec. But before I do, if you're not already subscribed to Tech Radar, subscribe. It's how you're gonna stay on top of everything that we do. All right, let's get back to this phone specs to kick off with. It's got two 12 megapixel cameras. One's telephoto, so that's two times zoom, just like the iPhone, and one is a wide angle. Now, what's really cool is the optical image stabilization, which compensates for your handshake is on both. It also means improved performance in low light as well. Now, it's a wide angle that you'll wanna be using in low light, because it has a wider aperture, an f1.7 lens, versus the f2.4 lens of the two times zoom lens. Now, the two times zoom on this isn't digital, it's optical, the difference being when you have a digital zoom, it's effectively just cropping in on the image that you're taking with your wide angle sensor. This two times optical zoom uses a glass to refract the light so that it all pits the sensor perfectly so you get more detail in your shot, even if it doesn't let quite as much light in as your wide angle lens. What's also a first for the Note 8, which I personally haven't seen before, is the fact that it can take two pictures simultaneously using the wide angle and the telephoto. So you've got options every time you take your shot. And you've got some more options if you delve into your gallery because using the background blur mode that we have seen before a fair few times, you can retrospectively focus on a different part of your image. Now, in our initial test, this wasn't perfect. So fingers crossed when the final build of the software lands, it will be improved. But irrespective, the fundamental shots looked pretty on point without any modes whatsoever. Jump into the shooting modes and you can also enable things like full manual controls, panorama, and a whole host of others. The front camera is also really well taken care of too. F1.7 with an eight megapixel resolution. So I've got really high hopes for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. To find out more about this phone, head over to our hands-on at the launch event. And if you've got any questions, fire them in the comments section below. That's how you're going to stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching Tech Radar.